Hola amigos y amigas. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? What do all of those things have in common? Look closely. They all have wheels. Wheels in Spanish are ruedas. Ruedas. The d d das. Ruedas. Ruedas. Let's check out more things that have ruedas. Do you have one of these? A stroller? Stroller in Spanish is cariola or cochecito. Do you have a cochecito or cariola? Yeah! Or one of these, a bicycle? Sí. Bicycle in Spanish is bicicleta. Bicicleta. Bicycle, bicicleta. They're kind of similar, right? What other things have ruedas? Wheels. <laughs> hmm. A scooter, that's right, a scooter has two wheels or three wheels. A shopping cart, a shopping cart at a supermarket or grocery store. Good eye! A shopping cart has four wheels, four ruedas, two in the front and two in the back. Do you ever ride in the shopping cart in the part that has a seat in it? So you can just kind of look around and be pushed around by your mama or papa? Yeah! Yeah? Okay, let's think of other things with ruedas that are bigger bigger than a bicicleta and a scooter and a shopping cart. What comes to mind? Hmm. A car! A car has big ruedas. Ooh. It has two in the front and two in the back. So it has four ruedas. Car in Spanish can be called a couple different things. It can either be called a carro, a coche, or an auto, depending on where you're from. Carro, coche, or auto. They all mean car. <laughs> oh, oh, a garbage truck. Un camión de basura. This one's got really big ruedas, right? Okay, garbage in Spanish is basura, and truck in Spanish is camión. So a garbage truck is a camión de basura. Camión de basura. does a horn make? Beep, beep. <laughs> okay, now what sound does a horn make in Spanish? Hmm. It's a trick question. It still goes beep, beep. Oh. Horn in Spanish is bocina. B, b, bo, si, na, bocina. And a bocina is the same as a horn. They make the same sound even though the words horn and bocina are different in English and in Spanish. The sound they make is the same. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Speaking of horns and wheels, I know a song about a bus, un bus, that has wheels and it has a horn and it has other things on it as it goes around the town. Oh. Do you know what song it is? Yeah! The wheels on the bus. Yeah. Good job! Do you want to sing it? Yeah. yeah! Okay, let's do it. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Good job! Okay, do you want to sing it in Spanish? Sí. I promise it's not that hard and I'll help you, okay? I'll be there with you the whole way, and then you'll know how to sing it in Spanish too. Okay? Let's do it. I'm gonna go really slow, so just try to follow along. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. 
That's the wheels on the bus go round and round. Dar vueltas y vueltas is go round and round. The next part is about the horn, the bocina. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 por toda la ciudad. Okay, let's do those two verses together a little bit faster, okay? And if you can't follow along, just sing it in English. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. La bocina del bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina del bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Yeah. yeah. Good job. I mean, there's more parts too. You want to hear more? Yeah. yeah! Las puertas, the doors, las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what abren y cierran means? The doors on the bus go open and shut. Abren y cierran, open and shut. Okay, another part is las personas, the people, las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. Can you guess what arriba y abajo means? Up and down. The people on the bus go up and down. Arriba y abajo. Okay, what else? Los bebés, the babies. Los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Los bebés en el bus lloran. Wah, wah, wah. Por toda la ciudad. That one's easy. The babies on the bus cry. Wah, wah, wah. You get it. Okay, another easy one. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 shh. Las mamás en el bus dicen shh, 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 por toda la ciudad. Mamás, mamas, shh, shh. It's the same in both languages. Okay, let's do the whole thing. Yeah? You got this. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas, vueltas y vueltas. Las ruedas del bus dan vueltas y vueltas por toda la ciudad. Now the doors, the puertas. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran, abren y cierran, abren y cierran. Las puertas del bus se abren y cierran por toda la ciudad. Now the people, las personas, up and down, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo, arriba y abajo. Las personas en el bus van arriba y abajo por toda la ciudad. The horn, the bocina. La bocina en el bus hace pip, 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 pip. La bocina en el bus hace pip, pip, pip por toda la ciudad. Los bebés de babies. Los bebés en el bus lloran wah 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 Los bebés en el bus lloran wah 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 por toda la ciudad y las mamás las mamás en el bus dicen las mamás en el bus dicen por toda la ciudad you did it Round of applause. Way to go. That's a really hard one. And you did it. Ruedas, wheels, are really important to help things move from place to place. And there are big ruedas, like on a camión de basura, a garbage truck. Or there are tiny ruedas, like on a little toy car. Look at my baby. Isn't she little? 
I'm pretending that this is my baby and I am its mama. Mama in Spanish is mama. It's the same word, it just has an accent at the end. So instead of mama, it's mama. Can you say it? Mama. Mama. And this is my baby, mi bebe. Baby in Spanish is bebe. Mi bebe. Y yo soy su mama. Do you have a mama? What about a papa? Papa in Spanish is papa. Same thing. Sounds similar. Just a little accent on the end. So it's papa, papa, or dada. And this looks like a family. Family in Spanish is familia. Fa, mi, li, a. Familia. Familia. Who else is in your familia? Do you have a brother? Un hermano? Or a sister? Una hermana? Brother and sister in Spanish is hermano y hermana. It starts with an H, but you don't really pronounce the H. Hermano. Hermana. Hermano y hermana. Do you have either of those? If so, are they bigger or are they smaller than you? What about pets? Pets in Spanish are mascotas. Mascotas. Pets are part of your familia too. So, do you have any mascotas? Mm. Do you have a perro? Perro is dog in Spanish. Un perro. Do you have a perro as your mascota? ¿Qué sonido hace un perro? What sound does a perro make? Okay, maybe you don't have a perro, but maybe you have a gato. Cat is gato in Spanish. Do you have a gato as your mascota? ¿Qué sonido hace un gato? What sound does a gato make? Meow. Meow. <laughs> okay, you don't have a perro and you don't have a gato. Do you have a pez? Pez is fish. Fish is pez in Spanish. ¿Qué sonido hace un pez? What sound does a fish make? <laughs> they don't really make a sound, but they do make this face. <laughs> Can you make that face? You gotta suck in your cheeks. <laughs> so what else could you have as a mascota? A lion? <laughs> that can't be a mascota. Okay, does anybody else live at home with you? Maybe a grandma or grandpa? Una abuela or abuelo? Grandma and grandpa in Spanish are abuela and abuelo. Do they live with you? Do they teach you things? Do they speak a different language than you? That's so cool! Okay, let's pretend that we are visiting our abuela for a sleepover, okay? Abuela was grandma, remember? So we're visiting abuela for the weekend. What should we pack? ¿Qué deberíamos empacar? Our pajamas, nuestras pijamas, for sure. Pajamas, pijama. Cepillo de dientes. If dientes are teeth and cepillo is brush, what do you think cepillo de dientes is? A toothbrush! Good job! 
can't get anything past you. Okay, what else would we pack? Our pijamas y nuestro cepillo de dientes. Yep, maybe our favorite book. Book in Spanish is libro. Nuestro libro favorito. Pijama, cepillo de diente, libros. Hmm. Do you sleep with anything at night? My favorite stuffed animal. So let's bring that to stuffed animal is peluche. It's a really fun word to say. Peluche. Peluche. Let's bring our peluche too. So we have our pijama, our cepillo de diente, our favorite libro, and our favorite peluche. I think we're set to go to Abuela's house. The baby is mine. El bebé es mío. No, it's mine. No, es mío. Oh, whoa, I think we have a sharing issue here. My sister doesn't want to share with me. Mi hermana no quiere compartir conmigo. We see this a lot with hermanos y hermanas, with brothers and sisters. Has this happened to you? Where you don't want to share a toy with your hermano or hermana? Yeah! I think what we have to do here is learn to compartir learn to share. So why don't you play with the baby first while you play with this dog and then we swap where you play with the bebe while you play with the perro. Does that sound fair? Yes! Si! Sí. Yeah. Have you celebrated Mother's Day yet? Mother's Day is one of my favorite days because it's a special day of the year where mamas get extra love and appreciation from us, their kids, their bebés. I love Mother's Day, el Día de la Madre, because we get to show them that extra love. Now, do you want to learn some important phrases that you can say to your mamas on Mother's Day or any day? Sí. Okay, first is I love you. I love you, mamá. I love you. I love you. I love you in Spanish is te quiero. Te quiero, mamá. T -t te k -k 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 no, te quiero. Te quiero, mamá. I love you. Another important phrase we should learn and say to our mamas all the time, not just Mother's Day, is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mama. Thank you in Spanish is gracias. G -g 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 -gra 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 gracias. 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 Gracias, mama. Thank you, mamá. Te quiero. I love you. Feliz Día de la Madre. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamás out there today and every day. Hola! It's raining. Está lloviendo. Rain in Spanish is lluvia. 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 Can you say it? Lluvia. Y está lloviendo. Look at all this rain. Do you know any songs about lluvia? Hmm. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Yeah! Or... If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Yeah! Hmm. I know there's another one. Hmm. Mm. Yes! Rain, rain, go away. Please come back another day. Yeah! But I think there's another one. Really famous song about something in the rain falls down mm. and then climbs again. Do you know what song I'm talking about? Sí. You do? What song is it? The Itsy Bitsy Spider, that's Ooh. right. Okay, do you want to sing it together? Yeah. 
Let's do it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job! Muy bien! Now do you want to learn how to sing it in Spanish? Yay! Okay, first we need to know a couple words. Spider in Spanish is araña. 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 And itsy bitsy, we're gonna say, is pequeña, pequeñita. Pequeña is small, so pequeñita. And rain, we already know, is lluvia. And the last one is sun. Sun in Spanish is sol. El sol, the sun. Okay, are you ready? Yeah! A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. La araña pequeñita. Subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y se secó la lluvia. Y la araña pequeñita otra vez subió. Let's do it one more time, okay? We'll do it slower. La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y se secó la lluvia. Y la araña pequeñita otra vez subió. Muy bien! Good job! got really cold. Oh look, mira, it's snowing. Snow in Spanish is nieve. Nieve, está nevando. It snows when it's really cold. So if you live somewhere or have gone somewhere really cold, you've probably seen snow. Have you ever seen nieve before? You have? How would you describe it? How would I describe it? Mm. Nieve is white, it's soft, it's flaky, and it tastes like really cold agua, water. Water in Spanish is agua. And the reason it tastes like agua is because it is agua. Snow is just really cold frozen water that falls from the sky when it's really cold outside. Thank you for watching my videos. Gracias por ver mis videos. If you like what you see, por favor, por favor, por favor, subscribe. Suscríbete. Thank you. What's that? ¿Qué fue eso? Did you hear that? ¿Escucharon eso? It's thunder. Truenos. Have you ever heard thunder before? It sounds like a big bang. Yeah? Thunder in Spanish are truenos. That's kind of a hard one to say. Truenos. And truenos happen when there is lightning. Relámpagos. Also a long one to say. But have you ever seen lightning? It's crazy. It's an electrical spark in the sky and it's incredible. But you know what to do when you see relámpagos? adentro, go inside, because relámpagos are not safe to be outside in. But they are pretty cool to see and to hear. We see relámpagos and we hear truenos. Do you want to play a game together? Un juego? Game in Spanish is juego. You do? See? Sí? Okay, help me identify which item goes with which storm. Storm in Spanish is tormenta. So like a rainstorm is a tormenta de lluvia. 
a snowstorm is a tormenta de nieve and a lightning storm or thunderstorm is una tormenta de relámpagos. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? A beanie, un gorro. Why would you need a gorro? For a thunderstorm, una tormenta de truenos o relámpagos? No! A snowstorm, una tormenta de nieve. You would want a beanie, un gorro, to keep your head warm, your cabeza calentita. What about an umbrella? Un paraguas. It's kind of in the name in Spanish, paraguas. What storm would you need a paraguas for? A rainstorm. Para la lluvia necesitas un paraguas. A house. Una casa. House in Spanish is casa. When would you really need a casa? What kind of storm? I mean, if it's raining, si hay lluvia, you might want to go inside a casa, but you don't have to. You can jump in the puddles. If it's snowing, si está nevando, you can also go inside because it's warm, but you might want to go make snow angels outside. Now, if it's lightning and thunder, si hay relámpagos y truenos, then you definitely need a casa to go inside of. What about mittens? Mittens are mitones or guantes. When would you need mittens? In la nieve, in the snow, to keep your hands warm. Botas de lluvia, rain boots. This one's in the name also, in English and in Spanish. What storm would you want rain boots for? A rainstorm para la lluvia. Good job. Thank you for learning and playing with me when we learned about weather, el clima. I'll see you soon. Hasta luego.